Uh, I'm scared. No. It's gonna start. Do you want to hold the throttle? So what we have going on here, guys, is this is the Jaw the Mopar 440, and uh, we. <laughs> You know what? It, it was addictive. <laughs> I, I, I could like, tell. I did like twice. Oh shit! A little bit more. Oh, a little bit more. So I went down and boop. It, I jumped out of my shoes. Freaking baby! How many times have you not have you been burned anyway? Oh. <laughs> it's just another one. Just another Okay, ready? This is gonna be loud. Plug your ears. Dang. Oh, that thing sounds fierce. This thing Dude, is ignorant. That's Holy. crazy. And that's not even camped. That sounds fierce. No, that's, you know why? Because it's it's, it's searching for yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds, sounds, sounds nasty. With the timing. Dude. <laughs> that's insane. That was pretty sick. Did you see the whole car? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. 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 Hold on! <laughs> Dude, that was sick. Alright, so the first fire was successful on this. It sounds amazing. It rocks like crazy. Just sounded like a NASCAR motor back in the 60s. The induction noise was insane, and the problem is that the throttle body mouth is so big, we didn't have anything to like try to cap it like a filter because the clutch fan is still fairly close, so you don't have a lot of room. And again, the throttle body is huge. You get all the induction noise, which is crazy. It was just lopy, but no leaks, no real issues. So now we just have to button everything up, get the intake on there, and send it over to the exhaust shop and do a full H-pipe and get it going. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty I mean, aggressive. If we take the throttle with the posse, it might break the Well, we're doing short gears too. Maybe maybe we need to put solid mounts. <sighs> Take the motor out again? No, just lift the motor. <laughs> no. Can you change it with the headers then? Yes. Yeah? Okay. It's freaking headers. It sounds so good. Well, I was surprised. Dude, it was like drag sound. It is. Immediately, I was like, wow, that's badass. And you know what? It, it was addictive. <laughs> I, 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 I could like, tell. I did like twice. Oh, shit. A little bit more. Oh. A little bit more. Yeah, but you can't do that when he fi first fires a JDM motor. He's like, no, 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 no. This is not a, this is not a brand new motor. I know. So I gotta drive the thing home tonight. You don't get me. I do get you. No, you don't. I do. Einstein. This motor never lost. The, Calm that hair down. The, the pressure, the, the oil gallery. I know, I know. I know. I'm just kidding. The Edelbrock system does come with its own tablet from Amazon. It's just paired to the ECU with the app. It's good to go. We're just going to input some numbers. So let's see how this goes. It's all good. Cut. I'm going to put that pipe back on and then, I mean, now at least it's kind of idling. Right, but you can't adjust the throttle plate if you put the pipe on. I know, that's the problem, but I need to adjust the distributor a little bit just to see if it actually gonna, runs smoother. Does it make sense to put a timing light on it when you do that? You can't see it, you can't see the marks. can't see nothing. Mm. There's too much shit in the front. Oh, because of the... The pulley system, the, pulley the pulley system, fan. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this doesn't... Proud. You have to set it to zero and then adjust on there? Is that how you do you it? You have to set it to base well, I set and it, adjust on here. When I time the motor, mm -hmm. I set the distributor to kind of like 10. Mm -hmm. yesterday. Yeah. But by hand. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can't see that. I no, can't put a timing light. No, you can't see anything. So I yeah. don't. That's what I'm saying. Now that it's idling, I'm gonna move the shooter to see where it runs better, and kind of leave Old it there. Old school. Yeah. Is I mean, there? Where's the timing mark? Is it? There's there is no timing it, mark. It is, but where would it be? On what? What pull is it on? But it's oh under all this crap there. The crank. The, so the crank. But you just can't see it with the pulley system it. in place. You can't put a little camera down there. Or the space oh, the that's an idea. Like maybe put a GoPro on there. Hold on, just hold a little camera. The light have to hit that spot. You what? The light the has to. Timing light have to hit that spot. Well, use mirrors. 
<laughs> okay, well, let's, uh, let's well, develop that. Yeah. Uh, next okay. year we'll do the timing on it. Perfect. <laughs> Alright guys, so what we have here is the Mopar 440 tablet. And uh, we're going to look at this one and see what it does. Let's go. When it shocks you, it's like... It's a big shock. 2000 I'll never forget the day I was pushing a push edger, a um, lawnmower edger, and the little cap thing was coming off. And I'm a so dumb little kid, and, and I'm like, oh, the little spark oh. cap is coming off. So I went down and boop! It, <laughs> I jumped out of my shoes. And then the edger took off. because His shoes are burning. Right? Oh my god, I went... <laughs> That's how he lost his hair. Yeah, yeah all my hair <laughs> fell out. That's, that's me. That might be true. Vicious. That just might vicious. have been the start of it. Yeah, maybe. I was going to get it If you just put a glove on for a crime. No, I know, but those gloves are... Well, get, put a non-wet glove on. Maybe just jump up in the air as you twist it. You're saying... <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Just do this so you're off the ground. Uh, it should be okay, but I'm just... I just don't like to be shocked, to be honest. Okay. Well, no one likes Go. to be shocked. Go. I'm just gonna see if if he shuts me. I'm not gonna go. I mean, it sounds way better. Sounds, like sounds like you can almost drive it around the block. But, well, it's going to keep learning. I can yeah. get rid of the idle enrichment. Well, once the alternator's plugged in and the computer's the not seeing the lowing, lower voltage, maybe it'll start. That's cool. We're trying to get make sure the alternator's charging and see if we can get this AFR number down or up so that there's less fumes coming out the back. Now it's charging. Yeah. But now the AFR is worse. Now the AFR is worse. Hold on. So I dropped the fuel trim another 5% at idle, and now our air fuel ratio is 12 and a half. Okay, 12 and a half? Yeah, I dropped another 5% at idle. Okay, so hold it at 2,000 RPM and see what it goes. In regular, you can't even touch it. Oh, it's a yeah, why is it so high? We have adjusted the idle fuel enrichment. We had to actually pull some fuel out. We have really high fuel pressure. Um, we're gonna have to figure that out, see if that Corvette regulator is just pumping too much pressure from the fuel pump. And we also adjusted the acceleration enrichment. So that way we can get the air fuel ratio to not be spitting so much 
We've got the alternator plugged in, so that's charging. We're in closed loop. We're in O2 sensor self-learn setup. So the car is adjusting as it's going. And we're just going to make sure it's got brakes and everything so we can go ahead and take it out for its first test drive with the manual, this EFI system, and all the new goodies that are on this car. You. Why? I don't know. Okay. <sighs> Shit. Stupid. I mean, you're not gonna go crazy, right? Yeah, but all this. No, stuff... I mean, this. Should I tie it? No. I'm not gonna corner. This thing doesn't corner anyway. <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure the brakes work and stuff, right? Yeah. 